your science hall. And you can see, well boarded up. Um, so what's funny is because, not really funny, but so this building and that building over there, and there's a church, I think, on the other side. Uh, I'll zoom here. You can see this. You can see that thing's falling apart, but they're, they have lights on in those buildings because I got here at like 5 in the morning. It was still dark, and there were lights on in those buildings. So that means they are attempting to preserve some of them, whether they'll do it to all of them. Maybe they just pick the best ones, the easiest ones, the cheapest ones. I don't know, because that one, that looks like the church, and it looks like one side is literally collapsing. So, But there's lights on on top, so I'm not going to touch any of those, because obviously they're trying to do something. But you can see how bad it is. It's just missing walls. Um... But, so this is the Robert Harvey College Center, and they've done a nice job, minus, you know, the whole boarding up stuff. But they put, like, motion sensors. Looks like those are looks pretty new. But then you've got your water fountain right here. Memorial Fountain, 1965. I guess these were the some of the school mottos, or at least maybe for this uh, sorority, fraternity... I'm not going to get that right. Someone was trying to do laundry. And you got the walkway up here. Which is really cool. So they're trying to... I think they're trying to clean this place up and make it look nice, but... It's going to be a lot of work. I mean... This is kind of cool. The fraternity 50th anniversary. From 1946 to 96. So I don't think it was 96 though when it closed. Uh, I think it was... I'd have to double check. I want to say early 2000, 2002 or something. So I don't think it, it wasn't 96, I don't think. It could have been before him. They just made that afterwards, I guess. But I don't see why they would have done that. <sighs> Whatever makes people happy, I guess. But yeah, so this is more the the show side. Back there, where we were at, that's more the jungle. <laughs> the untamed side. But I mean, even this building. Just broken windows everywhere. It's the Griffin Alumni Memorial. And you can see, chained and boarded. Or is it? Yeah. But above Bulldog Pride, there's a Bulldog. <laughs> this is what I meant by this is the jungle side. Uh, right on the other side, that's the fountain. And then this is the side. <laughs> this is definitely the jungle. They just kind of forgot about this place. But, man. It's a large property. There's no way they could maintain this anymore. Because uh, some people have been here before. That's kind of how I heard about it. And when I remember watching it, like even the field down here. Because there is a huge field. It has like soccer goals and stuff. I don't remember it looking like that. It was much better well kept. So they basically just have... Just let it go, essentially. Too, too much upkeep. Um, understandable. I mean, it would cost a lot to come in and clear this out. And for what reason, I guess. If you're not doing anything with it, why spend all that money? Alright, yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. You're like, this is great, Ben. It's more abandoned buildings. It's not just an abandoned building. This is Knoxville College. The entire campus of the whole Knoxville College is just
including the dorms over there, which we're going to get to. But it had to rain like all last night, so I'm not sure what the condition of that field is, so I'm not going to walk across it. But here you go, old volleyball court. Actually, back here is the, looks like basketball courts. They're so overgrown that you can't even tell what they were. So, we're going to see what's here. Um, I'm going to try to go through a lot of it. I don't think there's much left in a lot of these. But it's just the fact that they have that campus. Pretty much, uh, you know, it was just left abandoned and left to rot. So, let's, let's see what there is. That is uh, quite something. From what I've seen on the other buildings, Looks like they actually have tried to seal these back up. Oh, there's an open door. Uh, also, it's only uh, 7.30 in the morning. So, that's pretty much a guarantee that we're gonna run into some homeless people and accidentally wake them up. Hopefully not, and hopefully I don't piss them off. So, let's go see. But I'm not going up. I'm not climbing the entire building. There's no way. There's probably not much in here, but let's go find out. There's a lot of clothes, so I'm going to be a little quiet, but let's go see. not opening any closed doors.
looks like a double dome. Gross. This is probably what most of it looks like. Same size as the other one. Just this is the corner one. There's one of the other buildings. Oh, a courtyard. How do we get out there? Looks like I'm above it. Let's go back downstairs. You know, it's a big van building. You know, there's probably at least probably at least five or six people somewhere in that building. So I don't want to bug them. So that's why I'm trying to be quiet, not say much. And I'm not exploring the whole building because I don't want to disturb them. What is this? This is underneath. Above us is the courtyard with like basketball hoops. So this must have been like a rec room, maybe. You know, maybe they had a congregation, maybe a small bar or something. Huh. And it goes downstairs. Good. 
what's this stuff? Yeah, this must have been like they had like a little bar or something, like or a little restaurant here, maybe. Up here. Oh, it's downstairs. Just maybe this is like a second dining area or just a gathering room. I'm not really sure. I mean, it could have been for a lot of different things, I guess. It's a big space. This probably was really nice. What's back here? Oh, cafeteria. That's what it looks like. Looks like the food trays line up, come through. Get your food. Oh yeah, that's a dishwasher, that's for sure. So this was the kitchen. Hence was. And is definitely no more. Okay, interesting, that's cool. So yeah, this is the kitchen, there's your dishwasher. You know, dishwashing, sanitizing machine. Whatever you want to call it. You can argue about it, it's okay. Prep stations and stuff. Cool, so that's what was down here. Okay, yeah, here's the other side. Get more food. So maybe it was just two-sided to you know, save time for the amount of students and faculty. That's cool. So maybe upstairs is a, a, another dining area and or, like I said, maybe it was like a lounge, small bar, game room type of thing. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty good shape. Oh, chairs. <laughs> nice. Right, let's go see some of the other buildings. Oh, while we're here. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. So above the dining hall and everything, they had, I guess they'd have basketball courts, you could have tennis. Probably not volleyball, but I mean you could, but probably hurt because it looks like this originally was just a nice hard surface. So nice back side of the building. Alright, right, so now we're outside of that building. Um, yeah, most of these buildings, I don't think there's a whole lot here. It's just, it's the fact that there's a college right behind me, just abandoned. It's also on the little, I don't like that building as much. I'm a little nervous about that building because one, again, it's early morning. So if you wake someone up, they're going to be cranky. <laughs> kind of like that guy in the Caraway uh, hospital was. But most of these other buildings, so far that I've walked around, they're pretty well boarded up. Um, 
So that says that one, they either left open intentionally or they just can't keep it closed. So they gave up trying. But again, let's just go walk around and see what we got. This is the building I really want to get into. As I was walking around earlier before we started filming this, I saw this and I, I saved it to last. I, I guess it's the Colson Center, and then I see R, R E C. So, I'm gonna assume that this is the Rec Center, maybe. So it's the Colson Center for the R E. So I'm assuming maybe for the recreation. But that is if we can get inside. Uh, that would suck if we can't. Maybe. Okay. Uh, computer chip stuff. Cool. Ooh. Uh, that's not promising. Uh, this one surprised me if this ended up being like all the other buildings. Oh, I'll leave that one on camera. I almost busted my ass. The, all the concrete is so uneven. <laughs> this is bad trip. Um, Two more doors, all heavily sealed. So we're gonna go down below and over here and see if there's, see if we get lucky. I really want to, because I mean, you can tell, you can tell this building is, it's, it's unique. So that's why I have to lean by that alone, that this is gonna have probably something cool in it. Because it looks like the rest of them, like all these, you know, probably just more dorms, essentially. Maybe these are single rooms while the others are doubles. The point is, they're just dorms. You know, there's some old furniture in there probably, but that's about it. So, that's why this building stands out to me the most. So far, nothing. You can tell they went to extremes. They re-chained <laughs> this stuff and rebolted them. So, so far, nothing. There's one window that's broken, but it's above a door, it goes into like the energy area where the power area. Someone put a huge stump there, basically a look through the top window of the door. They would have had to climb through, and I don't think it goes anywhere to be honest, so. But I'm not exactly that agile. So I'm not even gonna attempt that. Plus, how would you get back out? I mean, well, either someone did it and got out somehow, or they got in and realized they made a mistake. <laughs> ah, but it's beautiful, but it's, it's kind of a shame too, because this is a special building. It has to be, there's something really cool that has to be in there. Um, but clearly other videos in the past about this place, other people came and probably started breaking stuff, you know, destroying things. So they took measures to stop that and sealed it. And that sucks because then it, you know, stops other people from wanting to just come and film it just for filming purposes, you know. I think everyone knows I don't come in, I don't go to break things. I hate when people go to places and break stuff. Well, what's the purpose? So, but apparently people did that because they went to, again, extremes to to seal this place. So, um, but, hey, it's sealed it. It is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. So, I'm gonna walk around the other side. If I don't find an opening, what I'm gonna do is find the video, I'm gonna find a video of this building and I will add it to the end of this video so you guys can see what is in there or what was in there anyways maybe before people destroyed it and uh, of course you know I'll put the, um, the youtubers credit on the screen also to credit for his video uh, but that way you guys can see what's in this building because again you can see it's it's the most unique building on the property. So, it obviously was something special. There's something cool inside. At least there was, used to be. So, 
I will post that at the end of the video if I cannot find a way in. So I'm going to keep looking if I can't find a way in. I guess that's it for the Knoxville College. And I think there's a bug on my screen. And now it's all foggy. I hope that's better. I could edit that out, but yeah, why bother? So, if I can't find a way in, I'll post this video at the end of this so that you see. And otherwise, that's it for the Knoxville College. We'll see you next time.